Welcome back to another episode of Stamps Fam. We are on my first Freeman I ever had. It's a 37, 2016. Now we got the 42 this past year. But um, we're headed to the Miami Boat Show. We're gonna check out the brand new 43 Freeman. They just debuted it, it's just coming out. And I wanna take you guys for a ride on it and show you all through the boat. And I also wanna thank Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video. Come on up here. Oh, big one. Oh, big old yellowtail snapper. So you guys know I love to fish, and I spend a lot of time fishing, but there's some days I'm not out on the boat. I'm here on the couch, or I'm at a dock, I'm at a boat show, I'm gonna get a little bit of fishing in, I'm playing Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash has some of the best graphics you've ever seen in a mobile game. Another thing I like about Fishing Clash is you can travel all around the world to fish. You can fish from shore or on a boat. You can upgrade your rods and lures to compete with other fishermen all over the world for the biggest fish. You can also upgrade your skills for more advanced fishing. You can take part in weekly fishing tournaments and hone your skills. You can create your own team with your family and friends and then compete against other people fishing all over the world. Now I get to fish in spots that I've never been to before. One place in Hawaii, I always wanted to go there. You can use my gift code, FISHWITHSTANSFAM, to get a special reward right now, but this is only for new players who sign up. With my gift code, you'll get a three-star rod, one mythical lure, a dolphin fish. 50 luck power-ups and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish for a total value of $20. To redeem your gift code, follow these three simple steps. And remember, it's only available for new players. If you want to support Los Angeles Fishing Clash, use our link below. Click this to download the app right now. It's available for both Android and iOS. So give it a download, have some fun, catch some fish, and uh, let's get back to the walkthrough. Straight out of Crystal River. Where's Straight out of Crystal River. I don't, I don't have a hang of hat. I don't even have a stand hat. I, can't I mean, I brought them for you in the room. Are they you now? Yeah. I haven't got a shirt that fits you. Do you? XL? Really? XL? XL? Right. Yeah, XL. That'll work. 
There you, there you go. go. I don't I don't make smalls, but <laughs> it's, a oh, wow. it's a medium. It's a medium. Oh. <laughs> We're on the hey. 43 footer. Scott's gonna give us a walk through here and tell us all about it. Brand new boat from Freeman at the boat show. Let me put my Pepsi down my Hope that's a diet. No, yeah, it's zero, zero. I'll get zero. Yeah, this just doesn't happen. Right, give let's us start, a rundown. What's different? Let's start off in the bow. So basically what we did was the popularity of the 42 has been by far most or the most popular boat by a long shot. Um, Launched that in 2016, since 2016. Obviously we've learned a lot, we've developed a lot, we're continually improving. Um, along came the 47, which was a five foot longer, wider 42, but we did some bottom changes and we're really happy with how that turned out. Um, it continued, the 42 grew and grew, and we said, hey, we need some more capacity. We need to get these boats to these customers. These guys are excited about getting into the Freeman family. So we looked at, we just double the 42 mold or do we take the lessons learned from the 47 better running surface, a little bit wider, and a lot of the creature comforts that some of the maybe not as hardcore fishermen were looking for. Um, obviously the 42 is still an extremely good platform. Nick is a great example, guy hardcore fishes and it works great for him, but trying to add some creature comforts, the glass windshield, the standard double row seating, the rear seats, the bigger coffin box. One of the new things we try in here is we deleted the step up front. This is gonna give us some options and some added features that uh, maybe some bow seating that we can work toward in the future. This also includes a pitch weight, pitch, <laughs> pitch well, excuse me. All right, got a lot of our South Florida guys like to sail fish and so it gives you an option of having small bait well here along with obviously the standard that Freeman's known for in the back. We have four 270 gallon and 255 gallon bait wells in the back. So insane amount of live bait storage options. Stepping back here a bit, our traditional 500 quart insulated fish box or ice clean storage, huge box, almost big enough to put one of Nick's big swordfish in. Cut his bill off while he's cramming him in there. Yeah, um, and you gotta pull him out. That's right, ain't gonna get him out. Right next to it's our insulated coffin box. That's 510 quarts as well. And then this is mirrored on the other side. New to the 43, uh, climb up, we have a rod holder, keep your sabiki rods, additional rods, keep things that you're not, not using the day out of the way. Gaffs, brush holder, you know. Pull that back. I also have a little storage compartment up here for mooring lines or yep. light jackets, whatever we'd like to use there. If it's hot, it's hot. Sliding back again, our XL box, extreme storage. Uh, some guys use it for beanbag storage. Obviously very dry with our gutter system. Keep anything you need there. Safe and out of the way. So look back one more to our, we call this our mechanical box. Basically this one's full of life jackets for the boat show. But down below here is our forward bilge access. Uh, sonar uh, transducers going here. And, uh, and if you add the big 599 like Nick's uses, that goes in there as well. We keep that in front of the step so we get that optimal performance. This boat also features a new live well pickup system where we actually pick our live well up water in front of the step. The guys are using tuna tubes, no more bubbles. Everything works very, very well to keep those tuna long for those long runs. Maybe if we get Nick in the Blue Marlin fishing one day, we'll get him a set. Do you know any Blue Marlin fishermen around here? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Hey, hey JJ. Are you, a Blue Mar are you a Blue Marlin guy? Yeah, we fish a little Blue Marlin. There you go. Yeah. JJ, how many tuna tubes do you have in your bag? 20. 20. 20? 20. Yeah. Where's that's your... a, uh, so that's an aftermarket option. You have to ask, call Scott Cothran directly. He will right. do and all I'll the work. I'll refer you to JJ. Yeah. <laughs> he will do all the work. He will cut all the holes and do everything for that's him. That's right, that's right. Where's your pickups for it? Pickups uh, in my boat are on the back. Um, in this boat, in the 43, they move the pickups up to the front uh, to put them in a less disturbed water. There you go. So if JJ gets at me, add another 10 tubes. <laughs> <laughs> this boat we've got also has the optional head, big console, much larger, more room in. Yes, it is a catamaran, so we still have the tunnel to contend with, but give you some room in there if you need to take care of some business. Sliding back to our helm, standard 24 inch displays. These are Simrad, but you use uh, some of the other manufacturers as well. Push button, this boat's equipped with joystick, cell phone charger, e-rigger e antennas. Uh, we're also offering zip weight trim tabs. Um, new cool option, we started on it with a 47, they're real happy with it. What about the windshield's different? Vin oh yeah, glass windshield now. We even have a windshield wiper if you need it. With a windshield washer, nonetheless. Uh, kind of protection, gives you a little cleaner view, nicer fit, finish. Oh, 
put our engine control gauges up here, switches, steering system, and two Icon VHFs. Too new to this boat, we'll have the standard release package with the teak seats, highlights. It's been very, very popular. We all of our, our customers really enjoy the, the look of this. These are comfortable seats as well, but if you want to, there's a actually a downgrade option. You can go to the LeBrock or Taco seats if you want to save a little bit of money. Located here, we have a freshwater washdown system, hose coil holder here. That side's raw water. If we step back a little bit, we'll have the raw water and fresh water. So each side has a, both a raw and fresh water. This boat comes standard with 50 gallons of fresh water. Extra size, oversized tackle stations, enough to keep all your, your what, beetle spins, is that what you use, Nick? Uh, crankbaits. Crankbaits, crankbaits. Anyway, all your tackle storage is there, easy to access. This boat comes standard also with the over-the-top JL audio system, which uh, it's it's almost obnoxious how loud this area is. Sounds very, very good. This boat came equipped with the rear seat. Gives us access to sit back and look at that trolling spread, run on the way out. Coolers under. I, I love trolling. Yeah, right. There you go. Coolers underneath here. Already packed for the boat show today. What about, is there, are they insulated? They got a cold oh, yeah. pack on them or what? Yes. This boat here is equipped with a chill, actually I say chill plates there. We wrap the, the fiberglass boxes with cooling coils and this can be chilled below that. So in theory, actually no, not theory at all. Today that ice won't melt at all because that box is gonna be free, be chilled. Gotcha. Our nice teak armrest. Enjoy your beverage while you're fishing. Rear facing display. This is nice mm -hmm. whenever we're running out, see how much further we go, how deep of water we're in. If we're out and back, we can kind of keep up with what the captain's paying attention to. You can even drive the autopilot from right here. Nice. Sliding back, this boat came equipped with the uh, teak rocket launcher. Um, Good for trolling, bottom fishing, kind of adds more rod capacity. Standard also now on the 43 will be the side dive door. Swings in. So this obviously helps under the boarding situation. You're not swinging out hitting the dock. Uh, bringing a big fish in, you're not worried about the door slamming on him. So uh, hopefully Nick can, he's getting kind of old. Maybe he can get those bigger fish in. Don't worry about that. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. like mercury balls the way yeah, yeah, yeah. Close that back to yeah, Here's one of our 270-gallon floor live wells, big bait well, same setup as the 42. Uh, been very successful in that. We'll slide back to our oversized bilge access. Actually, the sea chest is over on the other side. We do have the standard fuel crossover valves for if you're in a situation where you need to fuel from one side or the other. This boat does come standard with 810 gallons of fuel. So, very, very long range capabilities. Um, probably average in a full load, 0.8 to 0.9, so your range would be pretty extensive. Uh, back here, 255 gallon live wells, independent of each other. Keep one type of bait in one, one type in the other. This boat's equipped with the 45 quart insulated boxes. In, uh, 45 quart insulated boxes. Uh, cold storage, bait, and some of you use trash can. Also integrated the rod racks into the transom now. Just a little cleaner look. Like and we've added a twin platform with a retractable ladder. Sliding here, this will have our sea chest for our live well system. That has four pumps, one for each live well. I know Nick uses the hooker system. Seems to work well and it will be an option on this boat. Let's see, what else do we have, Nick? Additional rod racks up top. We have, we have the, the shade that overhangs the back, so when you're sitting in the rear seat, we're obviously at a kind of weird point with the sun right now, you're not getting it. And there are JL audio speakers that come down. So it's kind of a quick walk through. If you want to come to Charleston and check us out, please do. We've got a brand new manufacturing facility. Love to show you around and take you on a boat ride. There you go, good job, Scott. You're made for the camera. Yeah, right. Thanks for the radio. Voice for the camera. This has got boat show stuff in it. I'm just gonna add that to yours. Oh, look at those. Num num. Our it's little nice. integrated glove box too. It's bigger. Room. Cold binners. There you go. Let's go right what, here. What's, what's the chance of rain today? <laughs> <laughs> Any chance? Twenty percent. Yeah. Scott, 
You're sweating. I know, I know. I'm working hard, that's Nick. Working most, hard. That's the most manual labor he's got. Long, hey, long easy, Tyler. Yeah, easy. Well, dude, you need dry clothes. Hey, do you know anybody that sells apparel? No. <laughs> We're having a conversation here. Your audience yep. adores you, right? Yes. Very famous YouTuber. Well, maybe. And we wish you great success, right? Oh, thank you. Absolutely. All the way from you where? You're famous now. Where? I'm with you. No, you, you're famous, not me. <laughs> you're a Formula One guy. <laughs> Whoa. In the U.S., maybe no famous, but in Europe, famous. There you go. Worldwide. From the bayous of Louisiana to where are you from, sir? From Abu Dhabi. You know, United Arab Emirates. We got covered. We got Louisiana, Abu Dhabi. Yes. And Al Yes. We got it all. Yeah. You got these guys, the funny guys. Yeah. 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 This is this guy. Same you. Fishing. He's fishing also. These are my over here too. I hope you all enjoy that ride on the 43 as well as the walkthrough. Great boat and uh, you never know, one day maybe I'll get one. Comment below if you think I should get one one day. Maybe instead of the 42, I'll get the 43 next time. Who knows? Now I want to take you to the TBF dinner. It's the Billfish Foundation Award Ceremony. Check this out. Kudos to all you guys, uh, all you captains, crews, mates, anglers uh, that's participating in the program. So thank you very much for that. Uh, sorry to interject on the MC side, but I want to make sure we get special recognition for Nick as well. He's been tagging swordfish for us for the past, I don't know, at least five or six years. He's really been an ambassador to TBF and the tagging program, which has been huge for us. And uh, we can't thank him enough. He's gotten a lot of other captains interested in tagging. And I hope that you guys do as well. Um, but he actually got Sammy Orbain, who I was talking about before, into tagging in the Mediterranean Sea. So that's what we really want. We want you guys to be ambassadors, evangelicals essentially to the foundation. It's huge for us to get that information. So like I said, I just want to give special recognition to Nick as well. Sorry, Fly. Thank you. It's a, this is a heavy moment. Um, this is for our fellow fishermen that passed away this summer. Uh, if we can just honor Captain Patrick Price for winning this award. He's not here with us right now. Uh, physically, but I know he's here with us uh, in this room and always on the water with us. So, um, just a quick little moment for us to reflect on who Patrick was in this uh, in our community. It's always an honor to get an award from TBF, and uh, just want to thank everybody that fished with us and everybody you know that tagged and released fish. A lot of people think that we keep everything we catch, which is far from the truth. We let a lot of fish go, so. Hopefully we'll be back up there next year. We'll see how this season goes. We were changing our today on the 42. Thank goodness Dawson has her help out. So we're back at it. It's windy, but it's supposed to get better starting tomorrow. So fingers crossed we'll all get back out there fishing soon. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. If you want to support us and Fishing Clash, click the link below, download the game, put together your own team and uh, go fishing, go have some fun. Okay, hit the like button. Say it louder.